Still figuring out how to stay like this forever. Still figuring out today, today, yeah. Just cruising around and now we're You sail up and down in parallel lines usually and the distance between the lines is proportional to the, the water depth because the beams spread out more in deeper water so you can have a bigger track line spacing or spacing between each survey line in deep water. Uh, Bantry, Dingle, Tralee, Shannon etc based on their strategic importance, importance to fisheries, um, shipping and you know leisure and, and a whole lot of reasons. So with a, what we do on typical uh, survey trips is we have multi-beam, we have a single beam, we have a sub-bottom profiler which looks at what's beneath the seabed and sometimes we have a magnet, magnetometer towed behind to measure the magnetic field, sometimes a side scan sonar which is a very high frequency tool which is towed behind the vessel close to the seabed and looks in, at great detail at structures on the seabed or shipwrecks. The blues are the deeper areas, the reds the shallow areas. So we've been using a combination of, of ships and planes to acquire our data. The planes use a laser instead of a instead of a, an echo sounder, and the planes are used in areas really shallow areas, which would be difficult to get boats into number one, and areas which would take ages to cover by boats because the shallower you are, the closer your track spacing has to be. You know, you could be there for ages, you know. 
The low T-beam system hits, hits the seabed, energy is returned. The amount of energy returned is proportional to the hardness of the substrate. The harder it is, the more energy that is reflected from the substrate and comes back to the ship. Um, and the softer it is, the energy gets dissipated, the, the signal penetrates the seabed and not as much comes back. The convention we use is that the harder areas are dark, the lighter areas are, 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 are sorry, the softer areas are light colored. So this shows up areas of, let's say, sand here, sand and mud, and this is areas of bedrock. And this is used to look at the, it helps us assess the habitats, uh, look for any structures on the, the seabed for, for safety reasons, for fishing. Um, we use this in combination with another um, piece of data, which is the shaded relief, which looks at the morphology of the seabed. So if you look here, this is using the shaded relief with the bathymetry data as well. And you can see the structures of the, the bedrock. And in certain areas, you can see big sand waves or sand dunes, kind of um, call them sand dunes on land, sand waves at sea. Uh, here's Galway Bay again, there the Iron Islands, yeah. And you can see all the limestone here. You can see the fractures in the limestone and the faults and the bedding. Um, these are bedding planes here, all along here, parallel to where my finger is. These are fractures and faults, perpendicular to the bedding. And this is old. Um, bedrock here, it's millions of years, a few hundred millions of years older than this. And uh, this is the granite over here. This is metamorphic rock. This is sedimentary. So there's a big fault running through the bay, and it's separating these two terrains.